Hey guys, before I get into this video, I realized that in some of my previous videos, my voice was really quiet. So I'm going to try and move closer to the microphone and hopefully it'll sound more clear. Some of you might be asking, what is live stream anyway? Live stream is basically allowing people to watch what you're doing, either for your webcam, your monitor screen, your TV, your camcorder, just to name a few. There are several websites where you can do this. You can go to livestream.com, ustream.tv, justin.tv. The one I use is livestream.com. It's very simple. You just go to the website, you make an account, you download the free software called Livestream Procaster. And after you install it, you can instantly livestream your monitor screen or a game that you're playing. Depending on the computer that you have, I would not advise live streaming because it does take up a lot of your memory, RAM, and processing speed. I can use my computer as an example just to give you an idea of what kind of a computer you'll need. Um, these are my computer specs and these are the settings I live stream with. I did try 60 frames per second before but I realized my computer was not good enough to support that many frames so I had to drop it down to 40 frames per second and the result was pretty good the other thing that I wanted to talk about was an error that I recently discovered in Livestream Procaster and this involves the Adobe Flash Player um, when you're live streaming with Procaster you'll realize that your Procaster window will have this message saying something about you need to install Flash Player in the Procaster built-in web browser or something. I did not find a solution for it, but when I fooled around, I managed to fix it myself. So in order to fix this error, you just go to any Flash Player enabled video. I'll just go to my live stream page and um, all you have to do is right click the video you go to global settings and you go to the advanced tab and under browsing data and settings click on delete all and check delete all site data and settings and check delete all audio and video license files after you click on delete data the error should be gone after you reopen Procaster um, this doesn't really delete anything important it just refreshes the settings that you gave to Flash Player on any given website and that's it for today if you have anything to ask feel free to do so and